I see Aaron Martin's doing, I see a lot of guys on tour. They spend hours in a day's time graphing. You know, they may spend all of one day of practice, maybe fish for 45 minutes or an hour. They spent the other 15 hours of the day graphing. I'm not that guy. It's, it's, a, it's a personal problem. You know, I'm, uh, I understand it, but I like to fish. So the deal is, I can only graph for a couple hours and then I gotta shut down and fish. And that's one of the cool things about the panoptics being on the front, that I can actually be looking around while I'm fishing. And uh, it is, it's a bad habit. I can't, I can't stop. I, I can, like I said, I can only graph for about an hour or two and then I'm fixing to have to make a cast. I just love to fish. Uh, so the deal is, the cool thing about having a panoptics on the front of the boat like that, I can always look around. It's, um, it's something I noticed last year. I first started using, I guess I got it last year about a week before the Classic. And uh, so I had the opportunity to use it for a few days, then during the official practice for the Classic, and then during the Classic. And what I noticed about it was that even with it being up there on the front, even if I wasn't looking, necessarily looking at it, you know, when you're fishing, you're always, one eye is always paying attention to your electronics. And the one thing that I noticed about it that was so different, because typically on a trolling motor, while you're fishing, shallow, deep, whatever, you're looking straight down all the time. You know, you're looking at your 2D or down, and you're looking down. So where you're seeing is right under the boats. Well, the deal with the panoptics, I'm in a big old flat in the back of a creek, and the panoptics is looking out in front of you. It basically, depending on how you set the transducer, it looks from the surface to the bottom in a triangle in front of you. However the transducer is facing. I have mine facing straight like the, my trolling motor. Like whichever way my trolling motor arrow is pointed, that's the way my panoptics is looking. So if I turn my trolling motor to the left, it looks to the left, to the right, vice versa. And so uh, what I noticed about it was I'm out here in a big old flat of nothing and I'm cranking the bank, cranking down a, a channel deal and I just, the trolling motor turns out just a little bit and here's a big brush pile right out there in front of me. And, it, but, and, the, and the deal about it was it's shallow. I couldn't see it visibly, it wasn't sticking out of the water, but the deal was it was shallow and it was in a place that you typically wouldn't have graphed around. His question was, do I ever turn my graphs off when I fish? Typically not during practice ever because you're trying to learn as much as possible. But when I'm spending a lot of time sitting in one place, if I can get by with it even, because let me tell you this, that's the other, th now that's one of the disadvantages to this high powered electronics. That transducer sends out such a stronger signal than anything that we've had before. If you don't believe me, leave them all alone and leave them on a the trailer and listen to them. I mean, they get it. Now that's one thing about the Panoptics transducer, they're quiet, I don't know how they did that, that's a different deal. But, uh, but like regular 2D and down, it's clicking a lot. And a lot, especially if I, even it may be the first day that I'm fishing a place during a tournament, I won't turn them off, but fishing shallow, a lot of times I do, or if I'm fishing around other boats, I turn them off. Or if it's a deal where I'm pulling up and pulling down and fishing everything around me, because they get used to that. You know, fish can't reason, but they know if that sound and something bad happened, I watched my buddy get ripped out, and every time I heard that sound, I'd be leery of it. <laughs> I mean, a bad experience is a bad experience, and they learn from that, you know, and that's the deal. If that may be the only advantage I would have against all of y'all, if we all fished down the same stretch, and I was the only one that turned off my, so I slipped up on them, and they didn't know when I was there, but they knew when all the rest of you were there because you left your units on. But again, there's only certain situations that I, that I do turn them off. And you know, if you have to leave them on, you have to. But again, it goes back to, if I have to leave them on, I typically only run the one on the front. It's Mike Iaconelli, this is Bash U TV. Here's what's awesome about Bash U TV. You get the top instructors. You will learn things at Bash U that you will learn nowhere else. We take the mystery and the myths out of bass fishing. Real tools that help you catch more fish consistently. At Bass U TV, shoes are optional. And I like turtles. And that's why you want to check out Bass U TV. Join the Bass U family. Welcome to Bass U TV.